Hey guys, so I did a video like this many, many years ago, and I don't remember if five was the number or not, but I thought the number five made a lot of sense to me. Um, so what am I talking about? This video is going to be if I could only keep five lip products, what would be the bare essentials that that I would keep from what I own in my collection right now? Okay, so obviously I'm going to need some kind of a lip treatment because I don't do any of my makeup until I've put some kind of a lip treatment on my lips. So I've been using the Wet n Wild lip treatment and you've heard me talk about this many times before. I hit pan on it. It smells wonderful. It's grapefruit and mint scented and that sounds like a very strange combination but somehow it works and it just it smells really nice so this would definitely be one of the five uh, the next thing that I'm gonna mention I might as well make number two what is on my lips right now this is the NYX butter gloss in creme brulee I reach for this a lot <laughs> a real lot um, it's just a nice peachy nude color that seems to go with a lot of different looks. And, um, if you've never tried the NYX Butter Gloss, it's just a wonderful formula. I'm not really a lip gloss person, except for this formula. This is the only lip gloss formula that I really, really enjoy because normally I just don't like lip gloss. I don't like the way it feels. Uh, but this is definitely a good formula, and creme brulee is one of my favorite shades of it. Number three is going to be another NYX Butter Gloss, and this is Angel Food Cake. So for colored lip products, I picked that creme brulee because it was in the peach family. I picked Angel Food Cake because it's in the pink family. But this isn't like an obnoxious shade of pink. That's what it looks like on the applicator, but it's a bit more, just a little bit more muted on your lips. I would say it's more like this shade. So it's kind of a goes with everything type pink. Um, because if this is going to be the only pink lip product in my collection, I want it to be something that will go with everything. So we've got something on the warm side of the spectrum, and we've got something on the cool side of the spectrum. So what else would I need? I need something in the plum berry purple category. And for that, I chose Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. I don't really wear this in the spring and summer, but when fall rolls around, this is one of the first things that I think about. Now, if you just look at it in the tube, it looks really scary, but this is not what it looks like on. On, let me show you. It's like a, almost like a raisin color. It's like a, a pl brownish plum, but it's, it's definitely in the berry category, but it's a warm, I'm going to say it's a warm berry or a warm plum. But yeah, this is uh, the quintessential fall lipstick. So I would include that. And then the last thing that I would include is a red. And my favorite red that I have right now is the uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Red Rum. It says Morphe on there because this was part of that special collection that he did with Morphe, but this is his formula of the, uh, what do they call these? Velour liquid lipsticks? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but the, the formula is fantastic. I really enjoy liquid lipsticks, and this formula in particular is very nice, but Red Rum is one of those cool tone, bright reds, and this is what I would choose for a red. So that's it, guys. Short, sweet, and to the point. Those are my five essential lip products. If, if I could only keep five, those are the ones I would pick. 
if you want to play along, you can just list down below the five lip products that you would choose to keep from your collection. And um, that's it. I'm going to do the same thing with eyeshadows coming up after this video. Bye. Thanks for watching.